G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now, last time I finished that interior and I showed it to you, but I don't think I had the glass in. Look at that. You can see straight through it. We can see everything that's going on in there. Okay. And um, that's not the kit part. No, I've actually made brand new windows. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically use some acetate to make windows and make that complex curve for that windshield so that you can actually clearly see inside. And I'll also show you how to light it because that's all lit up in there. Here we go. Lights out. Lights on. So, does that sound interesting? I hope so. Roll the music. <laughs> So in the last video, I went to a lot of trouble to finish off that interior and I've put a test LED in there, which is just roughly in there. And, um, you know, I'm getting to see all that lovely detail. Everything looks really good. Uh, yeah, there's a problem. Um, as soon as I put the kit part in, yeah, you're not going to quite see much. I mean, I know that's double it, but it is really going to sort. And even this way, it is really going to absolutely ruin it. I mean, I'll put it over there, so you just, everything's distorted, everything's ruined. Yeah, it's not a solution. And what you can do is you can cut a piece of acetate sheet and obviously it'll go on the inside and that'll pop over there. And look at that, we can see straight through it. There's virtually hardly any loss, okay? Apart from some reflection. So with and without. Oh, in fact, I'll I'll do one window and one window without. So there you go. There's a window there, apart from you've got reflection. But when you haven't got reflection, you still see everything. So that is a solution. That's terrific. But what happens when you try to go around here? I mean, for a start, how do you calculate that? And then, will acetate work? Um, probably not. <laughs> and here's the problem. And here's the problem, right? Your um, kit part, right, which is woeful and it's got... The reason it's got distortion is the layers aren't perfectly level. They're bending and flexing because it's actually lensing, right? Just like a lens in your glasses, it's slightly curved. It doesn't take much of a curve to distort things. So if we have a look here, and we get an edge, it's at least a millimetre thick, right? That's the thing, and it changes too. It'll, it'll change all the way around. Be slightly thinner here, slightly thicker there. This is the thing. So it's distorting. You know, you can see there a massive distortion. And it's also scratched and buggered and, um, yeah, crap. Whereas, sure, this stuff, it, although it's got a plastic sheet on it, but when you peel that back, it will, you know, you could create a little windshield. Uh, but the second you try to bend it, right, you try and put a little bend in that there, oh, it'll sort of hold, and then, bang, it'll snap. You try and go all the way around it um, you maybe you could heat it up maybe you could do it but even this is at best I think about half a millimeter thick okay so you've reduced it by half but look there are other things you can use and you don't really have to spend much money for them so third alternative I've got here the container that my um, Pontos pedestals came and you get these sort of containers for paint and everything like that and it's this very thin plastic right it's absolutely thin and you can see straight through it in fact that little piece that I showed you that was this that's what I used and with this it will completely bend so we can bend this round and round and round, round really tight and it will not snap okay and I've done it so let's make the windshield for the front here but our first obstacle is how do we work out that shape? I mean, it's going to be pretty tricky to try and sort of hold this on here and then cut to it. And No, there's an easy way. Let me show you how I solved the problem in making a perfect windshield for the front of the Stingray. This is my method for creating the very complex shape on that windshield. Now, you could try and do it off the part, right? And that is a solution if your part fits. But the thing is, I have done so much work to this and I have re-sculpted and reshaped it that um, the original part doesn't really sit flush anymore and everything's changed. So this part is useless. All right. And anyway, it didn't really fit very well in the first place. So I need that sort of, I need that 
rake for the windshield there and I need that curve and I need to know where the pillars are. Oh, you know, it's, it's going to be tricky. Doing the back ones is really easy. I mean, all you've got to do, that's a flat surface. It's got a very slight curve. All you have to do is measure that distance. All right. So about, you know, 57, <laughs> nearly six centimeters and then allow enough. I measured it. So there was enough at the top here so that it pushed up into the top. So about, I think 15 was about all I did or something, 16. And, um, you know, now what you can do is you can make, if, if you don't want to waste your acetate, you could make it out of paper first. And that's a good trick. So, you know, you could basically roughly cut a piece of paper, put it inside, see how it fits. And you think, well, it, it overlaps here. It's a little bit too short there. Make yourself notes, cut bits off, come back with another piece of paper. And that's another solution. All right. I don't think I need to show you that. You just kind of keep fiddling to the piece of paper fits. So that's fairly easy. Or you can even just take some tape, run the tape in there. Right. And then on this side, use your pencil. I'll show you how to do that. This is like a super, super easy method. You want to figure out the shape. You take your tape. And you just... Pop it in there, okay. Pop it in there because you know that's going to cover all that. Now, on this side, we use a soft pencil. You don't want to be using a hard pencil here because you'll poke holes in it. But with a soft pencil, you just simply go draw it out. This is a 5B. A 5B is going to leave you a nice big black line, okay. And you don't need to know where the pillars are because it's going to be one thing. Pull that off. Bingo bongo. I think you can see it there. There is your shape. You've got to make it a little bit bigger than that. And that's about it. So you just allow for, I made mine so they actually pushed up hard to the roof. So I knew to put them in, I just push them in and they tap hard to the roof. So you could figure that out as well. You could draw that from the inside uh, before you rip the tape off, Harry. And then you'd have that line along the top there. But that shows you, it's very faint, but you should be able to see there. There's your shape, right? Now to save your acetate so you don't ruin lots of sheets of it, make templates out of paper first. And here's a photo of how I templated up every single window, including the curved one. If the paper templates fit and there are no gaps, you're away. If there's any mistakes and you figure it out with the paper, well, that's easy to correct. You can make a new paper template. You won't be wasting acetate or sheet or whatever you're using, which is usually not cheap or you might not have much of it. So yeah, keep working with paper templates until you have a solution. So this was my final one. There's the tape that I had on it, which actually held it in position. And then I went, yep, I have got the exact shape. That will fit perfectly in my windows. All right. So the curve one, how are you going to make a curve that slants and curves? It goes three directions, but that actually can resolve to a flat shape. And here's the trick. You'll need a sharp knife. You're going to need your tape and that really soft pencil. Okay, so here we go. First, we'll need to cut some tape. this point you need to cut out your shape. Now I'm gently resting this very very sharp scalpel blade against the kit. Now you can use a trick with the pencils I sort of showed before is you rub the pencil around so you know where it is you're going to poke but I've done this a couple of times so I'm getting pretty good at it. So yeah poke 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 and then away you cut. So you cut the top and you cut the bottom edge and you're resting hard up against the plastic. Now from the underside you cut out the pillars. Now you're being very careful not to actually cut the model. Like you're putting this thing in, resting it gently and letting it do its thing. It is so sharp. And now magically out it comes and look at that. And it'll flatten right down and you have the shape of your windshield.
Now with that shape on a piece of paper, I draw an outline just around it, just three or four millimeters. That's going to give me an area that we can use to attach it. Because, you know, unless you're going to try and fit it flush and try and cement it in, that's a little beyond my skill. So I'm going to make sure that it overlaps on the inside a little bit flush. So those ends I know are perfectly straight. I use my blade to do that. And there you go. That is the part. Let's see how it goes when we put it inside. Now I'll need a little bit of tape on this. Okay, so we attach a little bit of tape on there and in she goes. And we'll just test out, is it going to line up? Is it going to fit? And look, I think we've got one. All right, so now with that shape, we need to transfer it to the acetate. All right, so we'll find the best part of that with the least amount of scratches, or at least I thought it was. But anyhow, try and find the cleanest bit. You need to tape it down pretty securely. So I've put plenty of tape on it to hold in place so it doesn't slip. And then using my very, very sharp knife, I'm cutting around again. I use the rule, of course, to cut those little two little straight bits so they line up to the pillars. And then using my blade, I've slowly worked my way around. Now you'll get to a point where the mask can pull off, which is kind of what's happened here. The mask is already off. And then I'm running again on the um, lines that were indented and I'm just getting it on the second cut. Don't try and cut it all out at once. Now once I've got that, that should bend. There we go. And that of course will bend perfectly and make our windshield. And um, I might not have picked the best bit of acetate there. But it doesn't matter if, I've, if I haven't, I've got my template and I can just make another one. Okay, because I haven't wrecked my template to basically make this. So I'm hoping, going from experience the other one, that this will just fit in here perfectly. And being see-through now, I can see where I've got to line it up to the pillars. Okay, so lining that up to the pillars. Pushing it through. That's going to be perfect. All right. We'll need to sticky tape it in. There we go. Needs a bit of pressure so that it sits correctly. But that is going to be true, okay? Naturally, it's going to spring out. So what I need to do to hold that in place was I tape it first, and then we'll glue it in. But um, I won't be gluing in today because we need to do some painting first. So we'll just um, we'll just tape it in. See how that works. It shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Same sort of trick as before. We're going to tape the top and the bottom of it, okay? Um, you can make it bigger so you've got more area to actually grab with the tape. That's um, probably a sensible idea. But I haven't. I'm just going to wing it. Okay, so it naturally wants to spring out. Right, I'm going to be sloppy. So it should push pretty flush. All right, so. Let me tape that up properly, but I've shown you there, there's no, no fudging. That fits. That's perfectly okay. And with the side windows, that's going to stick in there. Now, here's a little trick if you've done what I've done and changed pillars, right? Because I have snapped those pillars out so many times while doing this sort of stuff. What I did was, I eventually glued them back in again because they'd fallen out. And one of them I even lost, I had to remake. And then what I did on the inside is I used some CA glue and I popped it in all the spots, right? And I see I glue them and I left it to set so that now they really hold fast. But you have to be so delicate. It's so easy to break these pillars. So that's what I was saying. Use a very soft pencil. Press gently when you're doing it and do everything so that when you are pushing, support. Support the bottom of the thing. Like if you're pushing down, support it on this side. Otherwise, you'll break it all out. It's a bit of a bugger. But that will fit in there. And with a bit of gluing, like I put some white PVA glue in that, let it set overnight, it'll hold that shape. Okay, And then um, my other pillars will go that way. So you can sort of test everything when it's in there, make sure that it's, it's the correct angles. It should be. Everything should be pretty right. And once that's actually in there, it should be spot on. All right, let's put it all together and see how it looks with the lights.
I'm using some heavy duty tape here because it's the only way to stop these things from falling down. And um, you still I would use it when I glue it in. I'll eventually glue those lights in. So there we go. All that work on the interior is not wasted. We can see it in there. Camera's having a bit of trouble trying to focus, but everything's in there, right? And that, um, that window, it'll push in harder when you actually glue it in place, but you can see it's bending there. It's actually slipped a little bit since I tried to do it all. Like everything's just dry fit. I mean, like your lights dry fit and your window dry fit and everything. There's always gonna be something that comes loose, but believe me, that will push up pretty flush because that's how we designed it. Using that tape over the top, we have made that outside shape and then the inside should push up as close as it can to the outside shape. So yeah, it's a bit fiddly and in some words were said like bother, yeah. But um, that is the solution. Well, that's my solution. <laughs> and we've got, we've got a floppy, we've got a floppy flap. Nothing worse than having a floppy flap. Oh, forget it, we'll just lose that. <laughs> Look, there's a stingray. That's as far as I've got with her. Um, I'm going to take a break now for a few months because I've got other things I've promised to build this year. But next time we come back, basically those windows will be glued in because I'll paint the whole thing. Yep, we'll get on with the painting and then she'll really come to life. All right, well, that's basically everything. If you like this video, please hit that like and uh, comment by all means, just be respectful and subscribe to my channel. Then you'll basically get notifications, especially if you hit that bell of the next video coming up. And don't forget to hit that super thanks. Yeah, that really helps as well. So that's about it basically. That's all I've got to say for this video. So it's goodbye from Australia and it's Huru from Harry Adini.